This video contains the top 3 best Tunnel 13 attack strategies with the new hero equipment to 3 star any base. Now, let's start with the third best option, which is Mass Valkyries. Yeah, this works insanely well, even from a Tunnel 16 army. So, you're going to start this off by using the Flame Flinger on one side. The way that you're doing this is in order to clear out multiple defenses and also creating a funnel there on the interior side and exteriorly using super barbarians to help clear the regular trash buildings. One side of the funnel being set by the flame flinger allows you to use a hero dive on the other. With two ice golems, your king and queen, you can get a lot of amazing value. Having the king with his passive ability and the queen with her two active abilities, the invisibility, and with the giant arrow, it can really help you get through a lot of bases, and it really does help you soften up some of those structures in the core. Once a clear funnel is set, the Valkyries can practically just go through the middle. So with your funnel all set, send in your Valkyries alongside the Ice Golems, the Grand Warden, Apprentice Warden, and Royal Champion. You want to take full advantage of the Apprentice Warden as you do not have any life aura, so they get boosted by 30%, while also having the Grand Warden's Eternal Tome and Heart Tome you can easily move through with an early rage as well and using your rage spells followed by clone spells in the core to just bring out so many Valkyries. Some of them are going to trip up giant bombs which helps your big group as you just continue to power through. His heart ability is just going to allow you to keep a lot of your Valkyries alive since it lingers longer than your Eternal Tome. So this really takes full advantage of everything. In that Flame Flinger, you could have Root Riders to really help with the back end, but the Valkyries should be more than enough to just steamroll through the rest. It is a very, very strong army that I've been testing at Town Hall 16, and it even works here without even the need of Root Riders in the main army but it can be an incredibly strong one. With two clones, Valkyries might be good. Now, for the second best approach, we look no further than Electro Dragons. They got insanely buffed from this update. Basically, in this attack, you're going to start with the Archer Queen and the Barbarian King. You want to just clear as much of a funnel as you can. You can bring in healers if you're using the Archer Queen's healer puppet ability, which can be really, really good. However, we're using the giant arrow as well in order to clear two air defenses, lining them up perfectly to smash them and both air sweepers. Using the Barbarian King in order to clear out a compartment, possibly get rid of a single Inferno, this is why you want to bring in the use of the Barbarian Puppets, while also having, of course, the Earthquake Boots as it allows you to open walls without using a Super Wall Breaker. This will allow you to create a nice funnel on one side of the base, but you also want to set the other side of your funnel. This is why you have an Electro Dragon. Your E-Drag should stay up for quite a bit, clear out a very solid funnel, Funnel for you send for you to send your e drags right into the base. Now from here you are going to be sending in your balloons and electro dragons followed by the grand warden. You can have your royal champion go in alongside them, but the rage gem from the grand warden is insanely good with the electro dragons. You should use your grand warden eternal tome over the blimp and the e drags. Even if you don't get the blimp, you should still be able to get the town hall secured. You can of course. Go ahead and use your Rage and Free Spells on really anything that is going to target air and ground. Single Infernos, Multi Infernos, Expos, Scatter Shots, you name it. You want to Rage up your Electro Dragons, keeping them Raged, not only from the Rage Gem, but also just helping them deal massive damage. Free Spells to protect the Electro Dragons, and if you can, if there is something like a Single Inferno still up, you could always use that Royal Champion's ability, followed by using a free spell to help the Royal Champion get through those final remaining defenses. Underneath the Rage Gem with the Warden and the Electro Dragons, this can be an insanely powerful utility, 
and it just allows you to stomp bases way more frequently with Edrax. Now, last but not least, we have one of the best strategies, and technically it did get buffed, we have the Blizzard Lalo. It's still an incredibly strong strategy. You're going to start off with a Lava Hound and the Battle Blimp, a couple balloons if you'd like, and using that Battle Blimp to land just before the Town Hall, using an Invisibility, Rage, and then timing your Invisibility spells every 4 seconds. This Blizzard is going in to remove as much value. Typically, you're looking for the Clan Castle and where that's going to be placed, followed by also trying to get rid of the Town Hall. Town Hall being some pretty nice value to remove. Otherwise, you just want to make sure that you're getting anything else like key defenses. From there, though, this is going to set you up nicely. Now, from this point, you are going to be establishing a funnel and going ahead and using your hero die. So using things like wizards, sneaky goblins, or even super barbarians if you want, are all great choices in terms of controlling where your heroes are going to go. You want them to go in for an enemy hero like either the royal champion or queen, but also you want to get some key defenses down. Now what is nice about the Barbarian King is since he has those Earthquake Boots, you can use that to your advantage. Pairing this with the Barbarian Puppets can be one of the best abilities to take. So it's a very, very good way to easily push him in. Using free spells in order to help deal with single target Infernos if there are any, and you should be able to get a clear and established funnel set getting rid of as many key defenses as possible, and that way it allows you to start your Lava Loon. And of course, last but not least, we have the Lava Loon. This is using the Rage Gem from the Grand Warden, but also using a Lava Hound with a couple groups of balloons, followed by using an Ice Hound and a couple groups of balloons, and of course you could send in the Royal Champion to provide support. Using an early Grand Warden ability to protect Headhunters, as they can deal with any enemy heroes, while also using spells like your free spells over splash buildings or the air defenses, also using haste spells to move yourself through and across, while the rage spell does provide buffs, allowing the rage gem to get a lot of value as your Grand Warden will help the balloons deal a lot of damage and he even attacks faster himself. Just make sure that you have cleanup troops like the minions and lava pups and you should be able to get yourself a simple 3 star with this after the update.